Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Dr. Raf Explain. Yeah, I'm actually editing some video I'm uploading right now. So if you're watching the video on meeting the Jesus family and uh, Savara of Salty Sol on the chill spot, this is the time that I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm actually almost through with it. I'm uploading it right now and I wish you guys could go there and watch the premiere right now right now exactly right now so guys uh today i'm not doing the normal um videos i do talking about diseases and how to manage them i want to uh, shed light on this news that reached me today uh, from this, uh, the CS for Treasury. It's a uh, Yatani, yeah, Mr. Yatani. And uh, yeah, they were having um, this Corona conference. They deliberated on many things, but there is this thing that touched me, as in Ilinigusa Kwabaya, you know, like. They won't be employing uh, new people anymore. Uh, they won't be paying for uh, internships, and they won't be upgrading people. Like there won't be upgrades in the industry, in the, in, in the workplaces, you know. So. Uh, it's actually a, it's going to affect very many people more so the youth you know like these people who have just come from uh, campus they have finished their studies they have uh, finished their courses they have graduated but right now there is no place there is no employment for them you know that is gonna be a hard deal for them and uh, I don't know, with the status of the, the current uh, state of affairs in this country, I don't know, man. You know, uh, like me, personally, um, I'm a doctor, as in, I'm a doctor, but I haven't been employed yet. Why? Because I finished my studies, I graduated back in two, 2018. Uh, after that we went for a one-year internship yeah it was a paid internship which actually as per the directive issued by the cs today as a, when you are on a token you mango like those those students are yet to graduate from campus they want to be enjoying they want to be benefiting from uh the paid internships that we undergo after immediately after graduation so sad man i i, I don't want to say uh, like medical courses uh, may be better or whatever as in another process but if you've gone through a medical school you can attest to the vigorous training we go through the hardships we face yeah in other courses they do uh, they face them too but man we have to perfect the art of coming out here and manage people huh? you know you're going to work with people you're going to operate on people you're going to like treat handle human beings complex beings you know yeah so it's not a walk in the park man hata kama mnasema eti sijui hakuna course ni muhimu kuliko nyingine manze like for me to come out here confidently telling you that 
if you want any assistance medically i'm here for you like whatever as in whatever disease i can manage like for a person for someone to become a doctor and be confident enough to handle human beings out here man it's not a joke so we go through a thorough training we go through a vigorous training and it takes a lot it, it really takes a lot which the government and other stakeholders should actually reciprocate the favor you know because I know, uh, so, sorry for the noise, uh, I'm actually in a restaurant, so don't mind the background noise. I hope you can hear me. So yeah guys, man, it's, it's challenging, you know, like, may I finish the campus, I've been hustling out here, I've, I've started my own uh, businesses, I've tried but okay, most are failing, some are still up and running, but it's challenging to keep them going without like having a, a stable a stable source of income, you know. At least with employment you are assured you'll be getting something at the end of each uh, and every month to cater for your rent, to cater for just pay bills. And then whatever you are getting from these other side dashes, you can at least um, manage catering for all those responsibilities that you have back at home, in the community. Yeah, you know, because many people expect us to like be there for them, be there for them financially, socially, and everything. So without employment, man, it's not easy. You know. You might be hearing that this one is a doctor, this one is a lawyer. Does he have the financial capacity to help everyone? We don't. And why? Because some people out here are failing us terribly. You know? As in, this is not a call to arms or anything. I'm just expressing my disappointment in the in the government i'm expressing my disappointment in the ministry of health which should be there to at least support us as in hack into our grievances and at least to try to make the healthcare system in kenya better by at least uh, supporting each and every uh, stakeholder involved in the healthcare system beginning from uh, nurses doctors uh, that is clinicians, pharmacists are uh, there, dentists are uh, there, microbiologists are uh, there, lab technologists. As in, there are many, many, many people in this sector that are even uh, suffering because, you know, they are not employed. In as much as umesoma kampumu pitia hiyo yote like ume perfect kuja kusaidia watu kwenye you don't get the platform so sad yeah but uh, this is just a cry out to the government to anyone listening try as much as possible to support the healthcare system in Kenya it's not easy so yeah it's not easy anyway that is it uh if you're touched by this uh let's cry just go to social media platforms uh, download this uh this video save it to your devices share it with your friends share it with your relatives share it with everyone if you care wala wadao wako kwa leadership kwa government ndi at least kuna watu niko huko nje like wengi 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 wamemaliza shule but they are not employed for the simple reason that bureaucracies as in anyway that is it guys anyway keep watching and remember to subscribe like and share my content so bye